day after Christmas, December 26th, to God be the glory. Yes, we might have some things to clean out or detox from our life. That is the, well, the attempted version of the soulful version of Handel's Messiah when Quincy Jones produced that. I believe Mervyn Warren was part of that uh, song, that particular project, because I just hear so many of those odd chords and transitions. But that song, He Shall pur Purify, He Shall Purify. And we know that God said that he would purify the sons of Levi. Oh, they're beautiful words. And we have to, we have to examine ourselves. What do we need to purge out of our life? Like I said, you know, I went buck wild yesterday. Well, during the holidays, it's Thanksgiving. I had some jerk turkey because of my chef cousin. Oh my goodness, his it, it, that started everything. And then my birthday, I had a chicken dish. You know, I'm supposed to be a quote unquote vegan. And then yesterday, I went hog wild, literally. I had some ham, and I just I was like glazed ham. Oh my goodness, I haven't had this in so long. So yeah. Well, I know that I need to purge my system today with lots of tea to get all this stuff out of me. Eee! I didn't have any horse, but I had a lot. But listen to the words of this song. And he shall purify the sons of Levi. And he shall purify that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Don't we need to do that today? I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, yeah, Romans 12, 1, to be holy and acceptable so that we can prove the good, acceptable, perfect will of God. Yes. And offering and righteousness, they live in holiness. Ooh, do we ever hear about that word nowadays? But God still desires that of his people to live holy without blemish. Only we can do it through him. For they are set aside. Oh, that's talking about sanctification. Woo, these are some words that we don't hear about a lot these days. For they are set aside that they might glorify the Lord. That is our mission statement. That's our vision. That's our objective every day. Rejoicing in his power to save. That's why we rejoice during the season and every day. For he has made a way for them to yield their lives. That we don't have to do this by ourselves. But it's only through God's power. Oh, my goodness, that encouraged me. Well, there is a small narrative story in Acts 15, talking about purging. Now, after this holiday, like I said, you might have to purge some menu items from your, your palate, you know, to, to flush out your system. But also, you might have to flush out some things from your heart. Lord, Lord, Search me to see if there's anything offensive in my mind, in my heart, in my body, right? That I might have put in inadvertently. Hmm? A lot, a lot has gone on these last few days and weeks. Well, we might have to cut off some relationships too. Maybe we have seen clearly like some alliances that might need to be severed. Well, in Acts 15, I remember a friend referred to this story before a long time ago and it was about a relationship that had to part ways because there was a sharp disagreement between Paul and Barnabas right we know that Barnabas wanted to take his cousin uh, I believe John Mark in um, the journey like the second leg and the second leg and to go back to the places where Paul and Barnabas and the missionaries went before and Paul was like no we're not no, we, we're not taking John Mark because he departed from us when we went to Pamphylia he wasn't there so no we're not taking him and then Barnabas was like no no we are taking him well guess what they severed ways they severed ties and sometimes we have to do that even though it might be painful, woo, but God can give peace and assurance that in that purging process, 
we can be led and still have the promises, the provisions, and the peace of God that passes all understanding. Yeah, when we might have a potential partying of ways. Those were a lot of Ps. So Barnabas took John Mark. I think they went to Cyprus. And Paul took Silas. And they went to Syria and Cilicia. Just know that they went separate ways. So sometimes we have to do that. What we need to do is to be prayerful. The Lord will show us and we will be able to still do the work of the Lord. In Psalms 26, we would have gone to that that chapter because of today's date the last two verses we want to be able to proclaim and have this as a testimony if the lord is leading us to sever it says but as for me i will walk i will journey just like paul barnabas john mark and and silas still were journeying but separate ways it says but as for me i will walk in my integrity can you have integrity? Can you have the purity of God and the stamp of his approval, even parting waves? Redeem me and be merciful unto me. But I can say in verse 12, my foot standeth in an even place in the congregations, in the place where God will place us. We will still bless the Lord and have a heart that is still yielded unto me. And again, we want to be able to say, Lord, examine me. Oh, Lord, improve me. Try my reins and my heart. And that's verse 2. So he's the one who will determine if we walked in our integrity, verse 1, right? And we have trusted in the Lord. Thank you, Father, that you give us an opportunity to part, to separate for your glory and still continue the work. So, Lord, show us what we might do to snip, snap, maybe anything in our life that is not pleasing to you. And we'll... We'll continue to yield to you so that we will be able to offer our bodies, our lives, our hearts, our everything as a living sacrifice only for worship unto you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.